What is happening fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I make videos about high powered scooters that go as fast as 50 miles per hour and working on them. It's Sunday lunch shift. And right now we're picking up a double at Chipotle. A couple of miles for about 12 bucks. Pretty good deal. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video at the end and leave a comment down below. Talk to me. Afternoon, Andrew. Oh, you got Nancy in the work. No, so I'll see you soon. Alrighty, guys. We got our first order. It's a double. Not going far. This is the elevator with the code. I hate this. Hopefully, if I can get it to work. Going up. Yep, there it is. Well, I believe it worked. Look what we're doing, guys. We're holding the elevator. Thank you very much. You got a perfect setup, the elevator right here. Awesome, thank you. Thank God that was easy. That was literally like the first ever easy Toward North Laurel Avenue. I had, and getting out of here is easy too. All right, now we're going to Kings. I want to thank my regular viewers and subscribers for not complaining about the fact that we lost the music. You know, once I got monetized at 1,000 subscribers, YouTube went back and gave me copyright strikes on like 75% of my videos. So I'm not in this to make money, but I do want to make the videos monetized so I can have a, a big library of monetized videos in the future for people to binge watch if they like it. But I do want to have an episode that has music in it and I can edit it in a way where I play very short clips of the music and I'll get a copyright, I'll get demonetized and a sort of a copyright strike, but they'll let the video stay up. Sometimes you get a copyright strike and for whatever reason, they don't let you post the video. I've had a bunch of those. But I want to do a demonetized video and I want the viewers and subscribers and commenters to choose a song. So I'll remind you again later, but if you have a favorite song you want to hear, I need about 15 of them. I figure I'll do a song per delivery on any given day and make this one full day with music and a you know, fully demonetized video. Feet. Turn left. All right, you know we're going in. Hello? DoorDash. Thank you. Hello? Who is it? And the food I ordered 20 minutes ago? Yeah, no shit. It was very close to the paneling my basement had growing up. Not the same stuff, but very, very close. I feel like I'm in the basement somehow now. Come on, let's save this elevator, come on. All right, second saved elevator of the day. It's pretty good from leaving the house. We got those first two orders done in 20 minutes. That's from the apartment to Chipotle to two orders finished in 20 minutes. All about the bread already pinged me on this order. That means they sent me a text and they should be ready. We're just gonna walk right in. It'll be on the counter and we'll walk out. Hello. Thanks, guys. All right, bringing it to Brittany. Get over here. Come on, I don't worry. Don't worry about it. I had it in January. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too, Brittany. Thanks, man. Good to see you busy. Catch you, later. you too, bro. All right, Jersey Mike's. <laughs> Up the left stairwell. Left is relative term.
Just reminding you guys who are paying attention, I need 15 songs that I can play in a demonetized episode. Remember, I like rock and roll, heavy metal, any variation of that. I like rap. I like some disco. I don't really like country music, but I might try a song if you got a really good one. So my viewers and subscribers recommend a song I can put in a demonetized video. Before we started today, we were at $715 for the week, like six, I think $6.95 on DoorDash and 15 or maybe 20 bucks on Postmates on top. So today, if we make a minimum of 120 bucks, that'll put us at 835 for the week. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll have a very busy day. Who knows? We could make 185 bucks and that way I'll make 900 for the week, but one order at a time. See if I can stop the Postmates robot by accident by making it look like I'm spacing out. Oh man, fuck. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you coming. Like I'm spacing out. Oh man, fuck. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't see you coming. Pretty cool. I think it would have hit me if I didn't stop though, right? All right, we're at Chipotle for a pickup. Hopefully it's uh -oh, ready. Oh, you guys got Patrick ready for me right there? Uh, can you call Patrick and call him there? So I don't remember if he called if he wants another drink. Yeah, give him another drink. What did he order? A Mexican cook, but we don't have any. What's the closest thing you have to it? But what did he order, a Coke? A Mexican Coke, yeah, and we're, we don't have them. I'll call him. That's a tough one to replace. Destination is on the left. This is not 9.33, right? It's probably the next no, one? It's not okay, yet. thank you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Good news is your food is here. Bad news is, is they didn't have Mexican Coke. We were trying to call you. You didn't pick up your phone, so you got some fizzy drink or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, I'm glad he was cool. All right, so we're taking this double because it's only two miles for 11 bucks. Chipotle. Alrighty, double order on Chipotle in the works here. Oh, they're a little bit busy, not as bad as I've seen them, but they're pretty busy. You got Kevin? Thank you. Oh, I'm so lucky. We walk right in and out. The sticker's falling off this one. I mean, they're overpacking the bags again. All right, I'm here. Customer gave no directions, so I'm going to call him. Hey, Kevin, right there. Thank you. Oh, you're not Kevin. Okay, okay. He's coming. Okay. <laughs> Don't let the dog get the beef. Hi, cutie. Yeah, she wants. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, Kevin, right there, man. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, I've been here before, too. I remember waiting for somebody here a long time once. I hope it's not the same person. All right, second part of this order will put us at about, I think a little bit over 40 bucks for an hour and a half, not too bad. I'm gonna do this thing again with the scooter and hold the elevator, why not? See that move? Thanks, Philip. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, this is a shady move locking up the elevator like that, but get lucky with the logistics. All right, I took this double order for 3.4 miles and $14 from Mendocino Farms and Jersey Mike's. They're basically in the same plaza. It's pretty far north, but 14 bucks will put us at $54, and I could easily just call it a shift right there, but we'll see. Pretty good order. Not, not great, but... It's 3.4 miles, but we're about a mile away from the restaurant, so it's not too bad. Okay, first just hoping that Jersey Mike's is ready. Let's see, oh, it's got Mendocino Farms as my first pickup. That's not a good sign. Sasha. I like that, thank you. Wow, you hear that? I walk in there, she yelled at me, she said, what's the name? This is perfect. That's what we want. Oh, we got Drew from Mendocino Farms, Drew. How you doing? Pretty good. I got Drew for DoorDash. Drew. Drew D. Awesome. Good to see you, bro. You too. It's a little bit tricky to find. The sat nav is giving me terrible directions, but I guess I'm here. I don't know what this person wants me to do. 
no dial pad. Are you Sasha? It's for Sasha? Yes. For Sasha. Oh, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Alrighty, we're going up Beachwood. Only a dual motor scooter gets up this fucking shit. I was hesitant to take the second part of the order, but whatever. We're here. We took it. We're good. How far up the hill is it? Course 56. Oh no, of course it's the only apartment building in the country area. Nice. Alright, first apartment up the stairs facing the street. First apartment upstairs facing the street. I mean, are you fucking kidding me facing the street? Are you apartment number five? Five, five, that's me. And you're technically facing the street. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. Thank Have you. You too, you too. It's 2.30, we're at $53.04 for under two hours. Very good. Um, some worse aces, some queen X, so they're not gonna fold the one bet. So, all right, we got a good $7, just a one mile rock and sushi order. We are very early. Let's see what's going on here. Goldie. How you doing? I'm very early, I have Goldie. Yeah, cucumber roll, asparagus roll, mango. Thank you, beautiful. All right, well these guys are on the ball, we'll take that. She's on the left. Oh, I, this customer asked me to call them. I'm sure this is gonna be pretty easy. One, two, two, three. It's gotta be, oh, right here. Okay, obviously. Yeah, I hope this customer comes down because, I don't know, just life's easier if they do. I think they are. Hi, Gold. Hi Goldie. Thank you so Enjoy. Much. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. All right, now we're at 60 bucks for two hours and 10 minutes. I'm going to go towards some sort of a good lunch spot. If I get an order, I'm going to take it. If not, it's lunchtime. All right, so we're picking up the best burrito in town at Los Burritos. Definitely the best. Look, we only got dinner shift to finish for the week. I think we're gonna do at least $8.50 this week. We're already at $7.55 and $20 on doors. All we gotta do is $75 for dinner, which is below average. So hopefully at least $8.50 this week, hopefully at least $26 an hour. Alrighty guys, we got our first order for dinner shift Sunday night, the last shift of the week. I'm definitely taking tomorrow off. $10, two miles at Al Bosch, one of my regular. It feels like we only go to regular spots really nowadays. Keep that high completion ratio. It's almost a 97%. Thanks, man. Oh, cool. All right, we got our first order. Easy peasy. Places are getting busy. I can tell it's going to be Sunday night. So I don't know if this selfie cam is going to have any use at all in the vlog. I'm struggling with the 360 lens. I've already fucking scratched one of them, but they replaced it for free. So let's go deliver to Ryan S and see what this footage looks like. Where is it? Orange Grove, West Hollywood, so we're going that way. I think this should be an easy drop off. I think I'm at the right spot. I hope I'm at the right spot. Guys, let me remind you to pick a song for this video I'm going to do sometime in the future where I don't worry about the monetization of the video or getting copyright strikes and I'll play, I probably need 15 songs, I usually do 15 to 20 jobs in a day, so I probably need about 15 songs and you know the genres, rock and roll, heavy metal, rap, maybe some disco, maybe maybe I don't like country music, but maybe you could change my mind. You know, I like, I like Leonard Skinner. What's up, Indian Kitchen? I got Michael S. Michael. 
I can do it more time. Just to, just to sure. About how much? Here. Hey, buddy. How about how much more time do you think? Uh, Which one? Michael, uh, S. Michael S. Which Your company? DoorDash. 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 Let me check you. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, man. We'll see you next time. All right, wasn't really a long wait, just a couple minutes. This is a nice $10 order for a couple miles. I think it's actually going pretty deep into West Hollywood, but it's a good order. Well, the best thing about this order is it's definitely a house. There ain't no apartments around here. It's pretty far away, though. We're pretty far east. Right? I thought we were going to West Hollywood. Destination is on the left. We're actually east. Oh, the street number, perfect. And that's our number, 109. They love it. Perfect. You got a house, you don't want no dirty driver in there. <laughs> Supposed to pay 11.50, paid 13, good start. As I'm making my way back from this really far away job, it's slow, I'm not getting any orders. I just passed by Bloodstones. There's a huge line out there, so I know not to take any order from them tonight. Hi, right, we got a very nice $9, 1.2 mile order from Chipotle. And now that they put the seats out, it's a little harder to navigate. You know. Shit, we're super early. Wow, you guys are way ahead. That's good. So am I. Thank you. You too, bro. All right, we're early, but we got it. Going in a box. This guy's directions, he says there's pictures of three dogs on the front. Oh, those are the, right here. Okay, obviously, three big dogs. The three dogs, it's the best directions ever, pictures of three dogs. <laughs> I appreciate it, thank you. No problem, man, have a good one. You too. Definitely wasn't kidding, there's one dog, pretty cool. The other dog, rejecting an order. And this dog, look at this old cutie. Awesome. All right, we got this good John and Vinny's order now. I've, I've seen it, I respect them, but it's just not my, I like B-52s way more. Me too. This guy, old school, Naveen. Naveen? Right, yeah. Yeah, two items, Capitelli and a Brigada. Yes, yes. Thank yes. you. It's good to see you, man. All oh, right, this should be easy drop off. Leave at the door. Well, come on, which one of these is 324? I guess this is 324. Hey, this is 324, right? Okay, enjoy. Thank you. Wow, this one was supposed to pay thirteen fifty, and it paid eighteen. I'm just trying to make seventy five bucks tonight, guys, and then we're calling it a night. We're already at like forty five or forty seven. Alrighty, guys, that's the end of the week. That's the end of the night. I got a flat. I know exactly what this is from. It is because I let this tire get too bald. So I'm gonna put fix it flat it, and hopefully I'll get it home. Alrighty guys, here's what happened tonight. I actually, after my second delivery, I got a flat on the rear tire and it's totally my fault because the tire is super bald. It's the original tire. It has 3,500 miles on it. I almost replaced it last week. I have a spare tube and a spare tire, but I was just too lazy. The thing is almost completely bald. So I didn't run over a nail or anything. I'm pretty sure it just it was at the end of its lifespan and I pushed it too far. So after the second delivery tonight, I actually got a flat and I didn't feel like talking about it. I fixed it with fix the flat and then I thought I could just go the rest of the night and work. But about an hour later, less than an hour later, the tire went flat again. I re put in more fix the flat and I made it this far to sunset on La Brea. So you can't see, but I'm at sunset on La Brea and now I got to walk it the rest of the way home. And I guess I can give us a pretty easy count on how much he made for the week too. We did $805 on DoorDash, $20 on Postmates, and according to the DoorDash app, we did 32 hours and 49 minutes. So we'll call that 33 hours. So what's 820 divided by 33? I think it's around $24 an hour. 
Not too bad, not too bad. At least I worked the 30 hours a week that I wanted to work. Guys, I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. You know I make videos about high-powered scooters that occasionally get flats and go 50 miles an hour. If you like the video, please like it. Leave a comment down below and definitely subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.